calling for more police officers to patrol the streets of Milwaukee, and that is about to happen. New at 6, WISN 12 News, Mike Anderson is live at the Police Training Academy on the north side. Mike, these new officers are part of the mayor's commitment to hire 120 this year. And Kathy, they are in training right now, right here at the police academy here on the north side of Milwaukee, and they say they just can't wait to help stop the violence. Numerous shooting scenes in Milwaukee this year makes the streets look like a dangerous place. Even cops are being shot at. So would you choose a career as a police officer at this point in time? So help me God. So help me God. 35 new recruits were sworn in Monday morning to do just that, and they couldn't be more eager to get to work. Definitely, definitely. One of them is 27-year-old Brittany Mason Gordon. She says she sees what's going on, but she's running to the problem, not from it. I think it's crime everywhere. There's challenges throughout life, and somebody has to do it. Her young brother, sister-in-law, and father Tyrone Gordon say they have her back. Yeah, I'm excited for her. You know, it's something that she wanted to do. I just stuck by her side. I've been wanting to do this since high school, and uh, as older in my life here, I just decided to chase that dream. Michael Ward is 34. He spent much of his life in construction, but steps into a police uniform with no fear. I feel, though, that they'll equip me with the right knowledge to handle those situations, and uh, like they said earlier, it's about courage and what you do with that courage. He's backed up by his wife of 13 years, Rita Ward. I know God will protect him. You know, we're really big in our faith, so I'm just really proud. Recruiters say it's certainly not about the money. They start out with a little more than $37,000 a year. They're in training right now, and it started today, in fact, and uh, they'll go for 25 weeks, and then they hit the streets. Live on the north side of Milwaukee, Mike Anderson, WISN 12 News.